What's up guys, it's Binary with the win here because Binary is just that awesome and welcome back to Let's Play Super Robot or Judgment. Last time, we poked, um, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan's, the Baron's Grand Share, and then these guys showed up, and then the UNESCO showed up, and then we moved everyone, and... That's where we left off. And now we continue. Phase and I put up a stuffy nose, so I apologize for that. I'm surprised they're not attacking. Oh, there we go. I hope Pegasus doesn't get hit because I don't think I've really been focusing on his defense. I'm gonna smack you in the face! Wow, dad damn it, game. So much for being dodgy. I mean, I think I might be okay if Pegasus dodges the next attack. I'm gonna punch you in the face! Ruh! I still wish that Dan Cougar was easier to find, because I kind of want to watch it. But, uh, I mean, Dan Cougar Nova is, like, the only thing you'll find. I can't find it. Dan Cougar itself, and of course Dan Cougar misses, because... God damn it, Dan Cougar! I'll punch you in the face! Maybe. If, if Dan Cougar hits, he's gonna punch you in the face. If. Okay. Note to self, do not put Pegasus in the front lines. I'm not even sure why I put him. I think I just put him in the front lines because he can move there. Hey, we hit. Yeah. Punch him in the face. He didn't die, though. Yeah, level up. Level ups. Well, that makes sense. They're like way behind everyone else. Um, Pegas is just gonna go hide and send the Nadesco for the time being. And then I think Kira will not do that without using alert first. We play it safe here, folks. Uh, yeah. Swoosh, swoosh. Wait, what? Bullshit, that second guy does not have distortion field. Be by a low. Oh, counter. Yes, I keep my alert. That worked out better than I thought it would. You need a frame. And I'll give you... Uh, since no one's in that, I'll just give you this for the time being. Oh, wait, what? You got... Okay, I don't... Okay. Just... Sure. 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 Why are you... I'm gonna do that every time. I'm ch I've gotta change that button. Why are you repairing? It's probably for energy. Um. Sure, Yoko. You can go and machine gun this guy in the face. And hopefully take the hit. Yeah! Do it! Come on, Ryoko, you got this. She critted. Probably not gonna kill it. No. <laughs> because, of course, it won't.
Be careful, ye uh, octopus. Oh, I'm using the gun. Well, that's fine. We don't use the gun often enough. Um, it's a bit of a waste of ammunition, but I do honestly don't use the gun with laser anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, also, I left my fan on the previous episode, so if you could hear it, that was why. Right? Prepare to be punched, good sir. But yeah. Um, I saw people talking about it, hoping that um, Super Robot Wars V would be ported to the Nintendo Switch. I'm skeptical that that will happen, because I don't think Super Robot Wars has ever done that. Um, with the exception of, I think, there might be a, a couple games where they have... They release, um, like stuff on the Vita and the PlayStation 4, but that doesn't count. They're both owned by Sony. Um, so yeah, I'm skeptical that Super Robot Wars V will be coming out in the Nintendo Switch. I hope it does, because Super Robot Wars V looks cool, man. And whilst it is probably inevitable that I will eventually get a PS4 at some point, um, I would... You know, it'd be cool to have it on the Nintendo Switch, because then I'll be able to actually play it more often, because... I'm not going to be at home most of the time. I don't play video games for a living, so... Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just me talking about random things that only somewhat relate to the video that's actually being, go being going on. Perfect English there, Binary. Perfect English. Eh, but if I do that, then I... Whatever. I'll do it! Um... That button needs to be changed. Oh my god, I just put my hand down, hit the button, and then it goes, and I just go, why? Um, Cypher, you can get back to flying. And you can pistol this guy. I believe I mentioned Moon Dwellers, but Moon Dwellers is the other Super Robot Wars game that's on the PS4 that you can also import in English. Not localized, so you can't purchase it in English in your country, unless it's with the country that you'd be importing it from. But, there is an English copy, because I guess there's, um, it's, it's being localized in, like, a couple Asian territories around Japan, and I guess one of them, one or two of them, have, like, English as their main language, so that would be why. Moon Dwellers is in English, which is cool, but it's, like, the first Super Robot Wars game in forever to do that, so, like, <laughs> you know, whatever. You know what, folks? I'm going to change that right now. And I will be right back shortly. And back. So, yeah. Now I can't accidentally push that button and have things happen. Huzzah. Do any of you have focus? You do. Hey, Sarah. Focus, because... I honestly just want 100% hit rate. I don't really care for any... I don't really care about anything else. Uh, I may have to defend. There may be defending involved in this. Anyway. Uh, I kind of wonder if this is a Super Robot Wars game where Gang Cougar can actually separate. Um, probably they can't in this one just due to physical limitations of... GBA. But I know, like, um, Voltron in one of the Super Robot Wars Z games can totally separate into all the lions. 
I had more health than I thought I did. Or I had less health than I thought. <laughs> the opposite of what I just said. Okay, Akito. Okay, Akito is like derped enough for me to not want to try that. Cedric, she's not a heavy hitter, so I don't need to worry about wasting spirit for Valor. Valor isn't going to be doing much on him anyway, because its attacks aren't that powerful in this game. But yeah. Um, again, I'm skeptical that Super Robot Wars V will be coming to the Switch, but I do hope that they will put out a Super Robot Wars game for the Nintendo Switch, and I hope that it's one of the ones that you can get that I could import in English, because the Nintendo Switch is region free. So I can totally do that. It'd be like the first my first legit Super Robot Wars game. Oh man, I'm so excited. Um anyway. <laughs> so um uh and I can think he doesn't get focus, does he? Nope. Um you can use alert instead then. And snipe. Okay. And you could just rapid that rifle. And dead. Probably gonna give him a level since he doesn't have one. I don't know. Whoop to do. And let's missile one of these. I tell you, the Nadesco is pretty alright. Um, as an attacking flagship. Like, most of the flagships in Super Robot Wars aren't built for attacking. As much <laughs> contrary to the really fancy attack animations that most of them get would have you believe. Um, but Nadesco is pretty alright. Uh, Martian Assassin Nadesco, speaking of that, is in Super Robot Wars V, so... Well, actually, kind of. It's Prince of Darkness, which is sort of like, eh. I mean, it's Martian Assassin Nadesco, but it's... It's Prince of Darkness. <laughs> Prince of Darkness is the movie that came after Marcus Nadesco, and Jesco, where they thought it would be a good idea to make Akito Tenkawa a super gritty guy. Metal Gear. Anyway. No, he went from being the hot blooded guy to I hate everything. The world sucks. I'm Batman. Except for that Batman part for ob obvious reasons. <laughs> All right, Hikaru, you can do it. Do it. I'll get you with the rapid rifle. Got him with the rapid rifle. Yeah, it's just like what the fuck. I'm sorry, Ogre has been back and knocked the Lulu's videos, so. That's fun. Um. Yeah, as you might imagine, this is also not the last stage of things, because there's no boss yet. And not many stages don't have bosses. At least boss characters show up. Beat up. Well, I mean, I guess we had Jonathan, but. He doesn't count. Also, from what I gather, it's either three turns or... That was an emergency mute, because I coughed. It's either three turns, or I think, from the looks of things, it's more like, um... And then suddenly, I'm coughing up the wazoo. Oh, hey, look, it's bosses. I don't know why I said you. it's not the last wave, because clearly it's not going to be the last wave, because we've been said it's... We've been said. I am English good. The Kadoshian army is here. 
That's Shapiro. Gostero is here too, son of a bitch. Hmm. <laughs> we drop in to investigate an abnormality surrounding or orphan surfacing. And here you are. Shapiro. I didn't intend to fight you, but this is for the best. How about it? It's not too late for you to beg me for forgiveness. Haven't you considered working with the Gradotians yourself? Don't mess with us. Yeah, that's not even a good joke. I don't see any reason for a, to beg an idiot like you for forgiveness. Enough with the small talk. Get over here already. Fools. I only considered giving you a chance because I thought you had some power and m the mind to use it. In the end, though, you've nothing more than strength. If that's the way you want it, then fine, I'll fight you. <laughs> I can already see it. Your groveling forms genuflecting before me. Is that even a word? <laughs> you get the hell out of my way, Shapiro. They're my prey. I'll slice them up right down to the last. Too bad for you, eh? Come on, you jerks. D don't order me around. You aren't our leader, damn it. <laughs> Let's have a nice long dance. Huh, fine, do as you please. No, you won't get away with this. Everybody intercept. Yeah. 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 Anyway. This is a terrible idea. I'm gonna have it happen anyway, because I think um, this will gain. Um, this will give Ag a little um, or Ig a little willpower if he doesn't die. Wow, I expected that to do more. Excuse me, Dan Kogan, aka. Some random sword involving Dan Cooper. Wah! Gotcha! I imagine that Dan Cooper is pretty powerful, but um, I still prefer Mazinger or Mazen Kaiser because it's fucking Mazen Kaiser. Uh, cover is R. Honestly, I'm surprised if this hits because I think. I think it said 100% hit chance, which is surprising given that the flagships are usually, um, really slow. Preparing gravity blast. Bwaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
This is that week what which Nintendo was going to do a Nintendo Direct on Wednesday about Splatoon 2 and ARMS, and ARMS is interesting, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up, because I'm not usually a fan of fighter games, but cool. Yuri got a level, and that probably means that Ruri got to level 2. Yep. And apparently June got to level. Ooh, Assault. I don't know if we've seen Assault. Assault lets you move, um, lets you attack with any non-post-movement weapon that isn't mapped after moving. Pretty cool. Um, Nelly Brain can take a hit better than Zmi can, so sure. Okay, this first punch can be used now. I'm close enough. Yeah, Chakra Shield and um, the fact that. Well, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Estevaluses have, um. I have a distortion field as well, but, uh, the chakra, the chakra field along with, um, the higher number of hit points made that a no-brainer. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to defend now. Because I don't want the Nesco to run out of energy, because I kind of need that for the shields. You know, like that. These guys are gonna start moving. Doo -doo -doo. Well, those guys aren't gonna move yet, and the Shapiro's gonna move yet either. Okay, that took a little bit longer, but. Um, the rest of this map will, once again, have to wait until next time, everybody. Um, just for anyone who's wondering, I believe this wave right here is, in fact, the final wave of enemies, so, yeah. Probably next episode of the episode thereafter should be the end of this, um, chapter, although then we have to do the plot, but, you know. Be on to another stage. Um, it's another kind of glitchy stage coming up. I mean, it's not the good, or another glitch coming up, and it's not the good glitch, it's the not so fun glitch. But that's not important right now. Um, what is important is that I end the episode. So until next time, everybody. <laughs>